Hi everyone, my name is Simon and I will present uh, to you game-academy.org. It's a website that we developed to provide fun and entertaining manners to learn about concepts from game theory and computational social choice. So here I am, uh, ready to join a session and start playing. So we'll just join without making an account uh, for now. And I'm presented with different games and I will start with the good and bad games. And so in this game, the idea is that you are given different um, logos for different uh, entities and you need to select the one that is the actual logo. So for instance, Philips is this one, I think. Spotify, okay, I'm just gonna go a bit fast here. And the idea of this game is to present the concept of wisdom of the crowd, which is that there is a true answer behind it and it, behind each question. And we're trying to see if the crowd as a single player would perform better than individual players. And so for instance, here we see this orange line that shows us um, what would be the score of the crowd if we were to use the information submitted by all the voters compared to the average score of the participants. And we can see that it's above. So we can take that as an indication that there maybe is a wisdom of the crowd effect that's happening. And so that's what we explain uh, here. And you can of course check uh, what, what happened then what did you get correct? So yeah, so that that's that's the idea, and yeah, really with this idea of like wisdom of the crowd, um, ground truth retrieval, epistemic democracy, epistemic decision making, and things like that. Now, we also we have a, a whole set of different games. I will just present another one to you, which is this numbers game, and here the idea is even much simpler. We are every, every player submits a number, and the player who is the closest to two thirds of the average of the numbers that have been submitted wins the game. So I will play. Uh, so for this one, I need to put a number between zero and a hundred. So we'll play thirty-five, for instance. Um, submit my answers, go see the results, and we can see. So now, like. In this session, these are the numbers that have been submitted. So maybe 35 is not so bad of a guess. And actually, so the average is 52. The two third is actually 35, and I'm actually um, I submitted 35, so I'm very close to it, and I'm and I'm actually winning. And so this game is really a support to discuss about game theoretic notions, such as maybe the Nash equilibrium or the rationality concepts, and how they behave when we're working with real world data and with human players who may not always be playing as the theory expects it. And and so that that's a that's a game we use quite often with students, but also with a general audience to give an introduction to these kind of concepts. So yeah, that was that was a very brief overview of the website. There's a a whole lot more you can see. There are different. There are other games to approach different concepts. Uh, there's a whole way to customize everything uh, when you're organizing a session and when not just playing. But I'll let you discover that for yourself. And for that, just go to game-academy.org. Thank you.